Backlog! 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 Hey guys, hey, welcome to the Backlog! The backlog. Wait, what's the Backlog? The Backlog is a segment of the Wolf Den Podcast where we go through our entire video game collection, every game we've ever bought, we put into an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, and today we're going to pick one at random and talk about it regardless of whether or not we played it. We got 973 games in this collection spanning multiple systems over many decades. 447. 447. That would be Hell of an Office for PC. Oh, okay. This is a Bob one. This is a Bob game. Uh, all right. So you have you played Neon White? No. Okay. I've, I've no, I, I know good things. I love Neon White. Yes. Neon White yes. is great. This is very similar to Neon White to its detriment. Okay. Because this came out after Neon White and everybody, including me, compares it to Neon White. And I played it at a uh, convention. Okay. And I was like, this is great. This is very similar to Neon White. And the guy sighed and he was like, we've been working on this for so <laughs> long before Neon White. It is supposed to be similar to a game that its name escapes me. It was some uh, acronym, but it's okay. Basically, there's a game that has a really big speed running community. It's a first person. Uh, it looks like Doom, okay. but it's, it's basically just speed running. And that's what this game is. Uh, but this is themed after, uh, I don't know, hell and office stuff. Right. You have a stapler that is okay. your like rocket gun, basically, yeah. that you use to, to shoot the ground and, and, and do rocket jumps with. Mm -hmm. And that is exactly how things work in Neon White as right. well. So that's all it is. It's just a first-person speedrunning game. You go from point A to point B and you try to do it as fast as possible. Uh, so if you liked Neon White, you might like this game. It doesn't run uh, as good as Neon White. I think that was better optimized. Mm -hmm. This feels more like a, uh, like a Unity asset situation. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it is. I, that might be a, a, a dig at them if it's not. <laughs> but um, I think it's, uh, it's great. I, didn't, uh, I played a decent amount of it. At, so I played it at the convention, and then I played it on Twitch for a little bit. Uh, and I think I was sponsored. On, on my Twitch stream for it. But I played a decent amount after that. It's great. I don't love it as much as Neon White. I think Neon White is a little... Uh, I think the level designs are a little better. I think the, it's got it's more engaging because it has a story. Right, it's a lot yeah. prettier and it's a lot more optimized. Uh, so if you haven't played Neon White, you should definitely play that. Uh, if you have played Neon White and you want something more that's like it, you want to play this. Dragon in the chat says, See em. Yes. That stands for Speedrunners. No, that's not what it's S E U M, speedrunners from hell. That's the that's the subtitle of the game. Oh, what does C E M stand for? Uh, is Neon White well optimized for Switch too? I haven't played it on Switch. I played it on PC, and it runs on like every PC. I've tried it on my laptops, my uh, Steam Deck. So I'd imagine it runs good on Switch, but probably only getting thirty. In so this game, you need a lot of friends. Uh, apparently, Hell, Hell of an Office is an early access game. Oh, it's uh, still not out yet. But, well, it, it will leave early access uh, in two days. Oh, wow. So we're, we're a little early here. Oh, maybe it'll run better. On October, on October 3rd, the chaos begins. Okay. There you go. It'll be fish, officially be available in a few days. So sneak peek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little interested in Seum. That's... A much yeah. older game where both of these games, both Neon White and Hell of an Office, are based off of. Mm -hmm. um, and I think there's like a big community around that game, and there's been like people making levels for it and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm a little interested in that. But uh, yeah, if you were into Neon White, check this out in two days when it's fully out. I, yeah. I feel bad now saying that the game doesn't run <laughs> good. I, did, I had no idea that it was in early access. This was over a year ago that I played it. Anyway. Right. I might have even been two years ago. This gameplay footage we're looking at is from 10 months ago. So maybe it's gotten better. Is there? Yeah. Do we know if there's a demo? There is a demo. Play that. Yeah. Go play the demo. Whether or not you liked Neon White, go play the demo. Yeah. That'll be at least a fair uh, uh, shake. Maybe I mean, I'll, I'll give it a try again. I'll see what's happening. I'm looking at the trailer for it right now on Steam. It looks like it runs really smooth and fast and fluid. 
So I'm I'm sure like they've updated it a lot since the last time you played it. I shouldn't have said it. It it, it it's smooth. Like it runs good. Mm-hmm. It just uh, you know, my friggin' fans on my computer were going nuts, and yeah. there's like not a lot happening on screen, so it shouldn't really be like a big resource hog. I just think it was like kind of a Unity asset flip. But, Got it. Uh, again, it was an early access. And I think, now that I'm thinking about it, it was so early that there were only a couple levels. So yeah. I, I played through it pretty quickly. But now there's obviously going to be more stuff and it'll be out soon. So maybe I'll jump back in and give it another try. Hopefully it'll run a little better than mm-hmm. it did over a year ago when I played it. It runs well on Steam Deck's uh, Dragon. Okay. Maybe I'll play it on Steam Deck. So if you like speedrunning first-person shooter type stuff, uh, give this a try. It's yeah. fun. It's got a leaderboard. You can play against other people. Uh, yeah. Give it a try. It looks very good. I will. I mean, maybe I'll try the it demo try. on yeah. your Steam Deck. There you go. Thanks for watching the backlog, everybody. Uh, come to a podcast. Yeah. And watch it live sometime. Bye. Bye.